All right, we're looking at system update sets for service now. What is an update set? An update set is a group of configuration changes that can be moved from one instance to another. You can group a series of changes into a name set and then move them as a unit into another system for testing or deployment. They work like macros in a sense, in the sense that once you have an update set selected, it's going to record all of your changes into your selected update set, enabling you to move it from dev to test to QA to release to prod. All right, let's go ahead and create our new update set. Click update set. Local update set, create new update set, update set tutorial, submit and make current. Now it's been changed to our current update set, so now all changes we make will be recorded under that update set. No matter what, you will always have at least one update set selected. If you don't have one selected, then it will go to the default update set. All right. FYI, you can click on the gear icon, go to developer, and select your update set from this list. So you don't have to navigate to this menu. All right, let's go make a change. Go to incident, let's go to open, let's go to first record, let's change the, the category label, right click, configure label, let's just call it cat. All right, well, you see that's been changed. Go to your update set, go to local update set. Right, go to your update set that you just created it. Let's change this update set tutorial to complete. Under related links, you only see merge. Once you update, go back into it. You'll see that now since, because now since it's complete, you can export it to XML. Okay, let's go to update set. Uh, to, all right, so now we're in a different instance. We're in my second Jakarta instance, Jakarta 2. So now to import that update set, type update set and left nav. But instead of local update sets, you go to retrieved update sets. Here you can update your update, import your update set via XML. Select your update set that you downloaded for, and exported. You can see that it's loaded. Click on update set tutorial. Now you can preview the update set. You have to do that before you commit it. Preview will bring up a preview of all the changes in that update set. And you can see if there's going to be any issues with that import, with importing that update set. All right, looks like there's no issues. Commit update set. All right, we're done. Great, so let's go back to the incident form. This is our second instance. So we should now see on the incident form, category should be renamed to cat. And here we go. There it is. It was successful. Good job.